Okay, welcome back to uh, day two of working on the Porsche 911. All I've really got left to do, as you all have seen in the last video, is clean up this door card, sound deaden it, get the door card back on, and uh, put the speaker in. That's pretty much my part of it done. After that, we'll look at what Grant's doing for the rear speakers in the back there. So, a new day, new battery, new memory card. I've got like 64 more gigabytes of recording I can do now, so I shouldn't have to do so much cutting but um so i'll just leave the camera rolling and fast forward it a wee bit and yeah get stuck into it see how quick i can get it done and brag because the first thing i want to do is clear out just as much of the dust and uh, dirt that i can get off as possible and then after that i'll hit it with the wax and grease remover and get rid of all the um Crime. I waited all week till now. Baby, baby, let's get down. Whatever you wanna do, girl, the song, just say the word and I I'm really, really feeling this vibe. You're giving off, yeah. It's just me and you, and we're flying high on Saturday night. Yeah. 
So uh, that's that section a bit done. And now the outer skin. This part is quite hard because I like to do it all as one skin. Just to see me come up. Okay, got the sound editing done. Time to put the door card back on. Okay, so the baffle, tweeter is mounted in, located. Okay, you take the glue here and there to support it. Just while I've got this in here, I'm going to wire up the tweeter and then put this on and bolt it down. So it is a wee bit difficult to get to it. I wonder if I can sit that there. Now, the tweeter outlet's this car is really hard to move around in. That wide angle GoPro lens is probably making it look like an SUV. This thing is tiny. Okay, so wide up. It's tucked away. It's not going to go anywhere. Now, now I get these bolts back through those holes that I made earlier, which was not easy. There we go, I think that's it. Okay, now, securing it. Now we've got 
three M4 nuts, three bits of tail strap which are going to act like big old washers underneath there to help secure it to the parcel tree. I don't know how, but somehow I've done it. I've done it somehow. Managed to get three bits of tail strap and three nuts on three bolts with like two less hands than I need. Oh yeah, I'm definitely gonna need a right angle screwdriver for the last bit. But shit. Might need a little um, eight mil as well. No, I have used flange nuts, but they're happily spinning. Yeah, usually they bite, but they're not biting on the tail strap. It's too smooth. Oh yeah, I'll just, I'll just, yeah, throw the glue in there. Squirt it everywhere. Yeah. I'll just do that, since it's so easy, eh, Grant? Your mum's so easy. Is that how you came about? Are you a John Snow? Oh, Grant Snow. Grant Snow. Right angle screwdriver. Right. That thing ain't going nowhere. Looks good. I've done it really tight so it's pulled itself into the uh, into the parcel tray. We're about to find out. Oh, it goes in. Oh. Might pass me the, uh, wait, I've got one here. This might make a difference, all the difference. Pretty much just on. I can feel the, like, I can, I can move this a smidgen. Right, so, looks like the speaker is gonna fit the, um, inside the tray here, there's a slightly raised section which we, I'm just hoping that the back of the speaker isn't quite gonna come in contact with, but in case it does, I'm gonna put a piece of this uh, Focal sound bending down just on top of it for it to sit on, just in case it accidentally gets itself in the way of something. Just cut this in half. We can have one half on each side. Yeah, Oh, that's cool. Alright, let's have a look from the outside. That's good. Dude, talk about some uh, complicated install values. Height of the plastic, height of the speaker, the grill, the grill attachment, height of the wood, the wood available to us, the height of the... Yeah. Now it looks good like that. And it's not going anywhere. That's one. It's only been, what, an hour? All right. I shall now try and put in the other one. Final install touch. 
After this, it's pretty much done. There we go. Don't tell me I'm lucky. I'll write to That looked bloody good in there. Well guys, it's complete, it's done, it's finished, capped off, sounding good, it's all tuned, looking good. Nothing really left to do but take it outside and let the customer know he can pick it up. I'll give you guys a quick rundown of everything that I've uh, done with this vehicle, me and Grant, um, just in case you missed anything along the way. And this is like my summary of the install. So first of all, we've got the Alpine CDE uh, 164 EBT, which I have set to red just because it matches the colour of all the lights throughout the car. There's not that many, but you know, red with red, and it's a red Porsche, so looks good. Okay, so the speakers in the front are the Focal PS165 FX, so they're Flax series um, components, the ones with the big crossovers, the crossovers of which are hiding just behind where I'm pointing there in the in the kick panel even though it's not really a panel it's really just a kick piece of carpet so it's tucked in away in there and I've checked that it's not going to vibrate or rattle or anything like that it's nice and wedged and then the same on the driver's side so we got the woofer down here looking all pretty and then the tweeter flush mounted it's all flush mounted so it looks good in the back same speakers mounted on custom baffles we had to get the size very specific so that um, the speakers would be up, up off the metal of the tray but also not hitting the uh, windscreen so that was fun measuring that up custom baffles built by Grant he did a great job wrapped them in black uh, leather looking vinyl so they look pretty much natural like they're meant to be in the car tweeter obviously flush mounted and everything like that sounding great and then what else did we do? We put Focal sound deadening in the doors. We did, um, well I did, the outer skins and the inner skin of both doors and it makes one hell of a difference, I tell you what, it sounds awesome. I'll show you a quick uh, little bit of what the difference it makes on the outside. Um, but for now, that's pretty much everything I've installed in the vehicle. Oh, and also I ran new speaker wires from the head unit out to the crossovers and from the crossovers out through the grommets and to the speakers. So the factory stuff wasn't very nice, so we decided to replace it with new stuff. And yeah, worth it, because hopefully it'll last a lot longer. I wonder if we can have a little listen to some music here. I'll play some music over Bluetooth, because the radio is probably not going to be very good quality. Okay, here's a nice song.
that's really good. That's really, really, really good. These speakers are flipping amazing. Um, just as speakers on their own, they, they're they so natural sounding. I think that's why I like them a lot more than the Alpine Type R's or possibly even my Rockford speakers that I've got in my car. Like, they're just so natural sounding. They, it sounds like the voice is in the car with you. It's super, super clean. And, and then the bass side of things, once you get some power behind them, and um, especially with the sound ending in the doors, man, they can produce some seriously, seriously good bass. Really, really punchy and loud as fuck. That, that doesn't have an amplifier in it. Um, it's just running off the stereo at this point. That was on about 22 out of 35, and I know that those stereos can go up to 33 out of 35 before they start clipping. So that was pretty loud. Um, he is quite keen to get an amplifier. He'll probably come back and get one and possibly some more sound ending done on the car. But um, we'll see what he wants to do and go from there, obviously. Um, yeah, but bloody good. I'm super, super happy with how it's turned out. Just the sound quality is, oh, man. Nah, yeah, just, just awesome. I want these speakers. They're bloody awesome. Um, that's pretty much everything you probably need to see inside the car. Let's uh, hop outside real quick and have a look and what I was talking about before. Okay. So, as you know, the only sections of the car that we've sound in are the doors, like the inner skin and the outer skin. So I'll show you a quick difference. This is a reg regular panel. Quite echoey. Front is the same. That one's not as bad, but this one particularly, really echoey. Whereas this, it sounds like you're knocking on wood. Like, so that's the difference it makes, and it's so, so worth it. Just awesome. And it makes like the sound, the sound of the door closing, like it used to be sort of loud and tinny, now it's just sounds like it's got a weight to it, it's cleaner, it's awesome. Keeps all the outside sound in. Of course, if that was what you're trying to achieve, you need to put a bit more around the car, like over the wheel arches and the floor and things like that to keep the outer sound out. But that will certainly help the speakers um, do more bass, produce more bass. And um, yeah, keep, for the lot part of it, keep a lot of the outdoor sounds out of the car. So here's a view of the rear speakers from above. I think I showed you some of that before. So that's uh, pretty much it for these videos, guys. I, um, if you've made it this far to the very end of you know, me showing you the car with it all done, there's probably been a couple of videos before this one, one or two. Um, I really appreciate you guys sticking with me and watching them and seeing how I do the installs and uh, the views as well, the comments, everything. I just enjoy it so much. Um, make sure you give me, you know, you give me likes on the videos you like and comment if you're interested in things or you know, might know something about it. It really gives me inspiration to keep filming these videos because, I mean, cars are gonna be in my life regardless, but whether or not I film them, put in the effort, and then edit the videos and put them on YouTube, that's up to me um, to be you know, inspired and motivated to want to do that. So you guys you know, liking my videos, commenting, and you know, even subscribing to my channel particularly, really motivates me to do that. And uh, yeah, I just appreciate everything you guys are doing for that. And uh, quickly also, sorry if some of the filming style was a bit choppy or you missed out on the sections or you know, the camera wound up facing a panel, something like that. It was quite a difficult um, job on its own, which made the filming of it and making it easy for you guys to see a wee bit harder. But um, yeah, I do my best and hopefully it's been good for you. So that's pretty much it for this video or wrapping it up, TTFN. And again, thanks for watching.